everyone thank you for coming back to my channel i'm stephanie if you're new here today we are going to be making a trick and chicken tractor uh we have a couple things that we use to put our chickens in uh, but when we have multiple batches and stuff like that we have a problem with having multiple things and the chicken tractor that we have right now is pretty heavy um so we have some of our stuff with us right now oh i forgot the package in the house i think it's the bag full of the elbows and stuff okay so we will go over everything that you will need if you guys are interested in making one yourself uh, we are following from a channel that i saw on youtube already so i will link their channel down below on the idea of what i got for this um i was just kind of looking up like easy chicken tractors or like chicken coops and stuff so this is the one that i found um but i will show you quick what we are using right now and it's pretty heavy so one of the boys have to kind of lift it up as we get all the track or all the chickens out and i can't we can't always do that so we are going to build this one and if this one goes well then we can make another one and have multiple batches in different areas so I'll show you what we got. So this is what we're using right now. And this is where we have the turkeys, the ducks, and our baby chickens are all in there. And then we have to lift it up and get them out when, at nighttime when we put them in. So we are using this as a tr chicken tractor. And then in our coop area, we have some areas that we've been separating the animals with. So we have these two, uh, ducks go in this one, turkeys go in this one, and then the chickens go inside here, the little chickens we have. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you better catch it, there it goes. Somebody forgot one, it must've been up high. Oh, let's take a peek ones. Oh, he caught it. Okay. So that's where we put uh, the little ones. Oh, I gotta lock this up here. Well, that one must got left behind. So then we just put them right in there. That's funny. Oopsies. Kids must have left it behind. All right, so I'm gonna get up here by Gage. Gage has all my stuff, so we'll, we'll lay everything out for you guys and tell you everything. Everything that I got, I ended up getting from Lowe's. We had uh, chicken wire, and then uh, Lauren had some other stuff that we could use. All right, so I have everything that I need right here. So I got four elbows for the corners that we're going to be um, putting together, and then this is going to be for the door of the coop so i got four elbows for that and then lauren got this bit that we're going to be using to make holes um in the pvc pipe for us to put up our upper support area and then gage is going to be using this to cut our piping i have a whole bag of zip ties because we're going to be zip tying the chicken wire together I have a pair of wire cutters, our ruler that we're gonna be using because we need to cut our piping. And then I have our, um, like our cement and stuff that we're gonna be using for our PVC pipe. I have a bunch of PVC pipes. I will go over how many you will need later as after we get everything put together with the size that we are making. I think they had seven on theirs. And Lauren has some more ideas that he wants to make things a little bit more sturdier. So he picked up a couple more. And these are a half inch PVC. I don't know how long they are, but I will leave that all down below. And then these are our three inch and 10 feet. So 
one thing with ours it has like a bubble right here so we're gonna cut that off we're gonna use the length of this for the sides and then for one of the other ones we're gonna cut it in half and that is gonna be our ends so it'll be five um on the ends and then 10 on the sides or a little less than 10 because we're gonna be cutting that bubble off um and then gage has our chicken wire and everything right here um i know that they priced everything out on their video and i can uh leave everything down below for you guys but i paid 97 dollars for the things that i bought at lowe's but lauren had that so that saved us some money right there um and that's i think that's pretty much it so we're gonna get started here pretty good. 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 It's not perfect. That's okay, but it's not slanted. No, you know what I mean? Please. It'd be different if it was slanted. Okay, so Gage is going to measure. Yeah, just measure all the way across to see what we have. Okay, so Gage is going to cut the 10 foot one in half. So that will be our ends then. Gage is going to clean off the ends and then we're going to start adding our um, elbow pieces to the ends. Gotta get it all the, yep. Yeah. That's a lot of glue. Glue. It's not glue. This is the primer part. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, make it look like it actually. Okay, do a big piece. Let you, there you go. These are going up too. These are growing up. Yeah, these are growing up. They're growing up? I'll do another layer on the other one. I'm so excited. <coughs> I'm so excited. Okay, that's good. Oh no, you have to do another layer, right? Yep. Okay, we go fast. That's good. Gage has to do the elbows first.
Okay, so now Gage is going to measure all the way across, and this is going to be where we're going to put the half inch PVC pipe so that it can go across from there to there. And then that's going to be our top part of what, where we're going to put the chicken wire. So he's just going to go across, mark it, and then we're going to drill in some holes. And then this, <laughs> this is going to be the height of our coop. All right, so we decided to do two more on the ends because we have these extra spaces right here. So he's just gonna drill. Some extra holes on the ends and then we're gonna have a bigger, that'll be more to, um, or it'll just be nicer because of adding the chicken wire and stuff on top. Yeah. Okay, put it in. Oh, Is that hard to do, Lachlan? <laughs> He can't control it. <laughs> Is it too heavy? Evelyn. Evelyn. No, Evelyn. Okay, so we got the chicken wire. Um, what? It, what is it? What did they say? It's like two feet, two feet wide. Okay, so we are gonna leave a little bit extra on the ends because Lauren's gonna roll this part up onto here and screw it in with a PVC pipe so that we have extra like stability in here and then like no other animals can get in there or whatever either. So Gage is gonna start zip tying right here or down here and then we're gonna go all the way across. Uh, you could. You can move it over a little bit more so that you have an end.
Okay, so Gage measured it out. What did you say that that piece was? That was our distance. It was this two and a half. Long, two and a half, yeah. Two and a half, and then how long? How tall are you going to be doing the door? Three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. I thought you said five and a half. No, three and a half. Three and a half. Five and a half would be taller than the whole thing. Okay, so Gage is gonna put the chicken wire on the door. What you need to do is just lay it down like this. And then he is going to put uh, zip ties around it. And we kind of lucked out because our chicken wire is cut perfectly to size. So where he has to measure it out, it's exactly the same distance across. So we won't have to do any, do any cutting uh, width wise to make it look good, but we do have to cut on the ends to cut the roll off. Okay, so we got the door on for right now and we have one, two, three zip ties on there and they're not like zip tied all the way tight, otherwise we can't open the door. And then when you open the door, you're able to put the chickens in. And then what they did is they put on a bungee cord to keep this shut. So that's probably what we're gonna do also. And then I have to go inside and cut like underneath here, I have to cut the hole out for us to have a door there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so it's the next day. We weren't able to get it all done in a day but you, you should be able to get it done in a day. It's just it rained yesterday and we weren't able to. So um, it shouldn't take long to make this at all. So one of the things we have to do is shorten the door or move it up a little bit more. That was the only problem that we had yesterday. Otherwise, I still have to do one row of chicken wire right here on this one. And then on the ends, we have to put it on and then Lauren has to do the bottom stuff and then we are finished. Um, and then if there's other things that we need to change, we can change. Otherwise, yeah, this should work out for us. So I'm going to probably take off this door and then uh, try to fix it and put it up a little bit higher. And then Eli is gonna help me out and we are going to be putting the chicken wire on the sides there. All right, so we got one roll across. Eli's just taking off some extra. And then we're gonna put another layer up on top and put a bunch of zip ties and stuff to hold that together. And then I'll probably put some in the middle of that seal, like in between this area and the next layer. So it seals up right there, but we're gonna do that on this side and then we're gonna do it on the other side.
All right, so me and Eli got the other end done. Everything is finished and now we are going to put the tarp up. I needed the kids cut the zip ties. So now I'm going to be putting up part of this plastic and then we have some blue stuff over there and I'm gonna be draping that across and um, so that we have an area for them to have shade in. Half of it will be shade and then the other half will be open for them. or Lauren's putting a rope on the end so that we can drag it around the yard. And then he said that he's gonna put a hook on top so that the rope doesn't lay on the ground when it's just sitting there. And then this is what we did to keep our door shut. Um, and then we put some zip ties up here on top and there, some of these are loose. We didn't zip tie them all the way together so that we can lift up the door. Uh, and you don't need to bungee it like this. If you have a long bungee cord that can go from one side to the next, you can do that. Uh, but he just tied some rope on the side and then he bungeed it right in the middle. Okay, so I zip tied the tarp down and then I zip tied all the way across on top so that it can't blow in the wind. And then I zip tied it on the sides also. And it's pretty windy out today too, so, and it's not going anywhere. We gotta tie it so it doesn't come undone. We got it! No, no, that doesn't come undone. Okay, so you put a hook right here so that the rope doesn't stay on the ground when we're done with it. So, just hook it up there. And I think we are done. So I think we're gonna have the kids come and help and just try it out for the night before we put the chickens in.